Welcome, welcome to Volatility 411 for Equity Armor Investments. I'm Joe Teague, back from vacation here in the VIX pit here on a risk on day. Powell is on the hill telling the market that interest rate cuts are coming. The market's loving that. We're up three quarters of 1% in the S&P 500, up to that 3,000 psychological barrier. The VIX for its part down a point to 1309 as we're getting a big risk on day. We're seeing oil up, we're seeing gold up, we're seeing the market up. People are comfortable putting their money back into stocks given that interest rate cuts are on the horizon. Now last week, uh, juxtapose this uh, today, the feeling today, we had a really good economic data on the jobs report. The market was saying, you know what, maybe uh, we don't necessarily need a rate cut from the Fed. Maybe that's not coming and the market saw that good news as bad news, which is uh, counterintuitive because usually when we're in a rate cut cycle, we have bad news is good news. Bad economic data means that the Fed is more likely to cut. Now we have the opposite. So it's kind of an unusual situation for the market to be, in, to be in. However, I will say that inflation expectations remain low and that is the basis for this cut. So uh, we're in a weird spot and certainly uh, inflation is desired. And if it does uh, materialize, it'll show up in the stock market. So uh, we'll be watching out for that. Now, Monday coming back from vacation, I always watch the SKU index. It's something that I recommend all the people of the show watch too, the CBOE. O E SKU index S K E K E W easy for you to say it was up to 126 it was a sharp increase over the last uh, three days or so and that was telling me that the put buyers in the S P 500 were betting for a big move to happen in the short term of course they knew Powell was going to be on the hill today and uh, we got a big uptick in the market we got a sharp decrease in the VIX which is potentially what they were looking to do buying puts buying futures selling calls driving that market higher, which is exactly what they wanted with that skew. For Equity Armor Investments, I'm Joe Teague.